Hey everybody, I got a um a, f- a few things to talk about, but this is a word that the Lord gave me a little while ago. Thus saith the Lord, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Amen. So this is something, brothers and sisters, this is... um. Most people in the world, um, you know, I pray that who whoever um, the Holy Spirit, that whoever this is in regards to, whatever person is hearing this, that they would be convicted and that the spirit of humility would be on them and that they would repent from this. But also, if you're a child of God, a true child who follows the Lamb wherever he goes, that you would know that this is something that is happening, you guys. This is um, this is kind of like a judgment upon people that the Lord has brought upon people, um, too. So I wanted to share this word of the Lord. Um, he told me to share this a little while ago. So glory to God. Thank you, Father. In agreement with our our brothers and sisters, we lift up an offering out of love in our hearts, Lord, an offering of praise and thanksgiving um, to you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. So this is something else I wanted to talk about real quick, you guys, just for edification and and to that we would pray for these things for others um and and keep them in our heart to edify us and and keep these things on our radar but real quick brothers and sisters um so there's this thing that they found in Italy this anomaly um you know a red light and when you're talking about electronics like a red ring means like death or something like that and this was found in italy but what was strange was elon musk just made i believe just made a reference or he was talking about italy and he was saying it's not good they're not um they're not having children and there's a decline of things going on in italy and i believe that this right here um has something to do with it i don't know if there's a portal that's opened in italy or something to do with the fallen angel, but there's there's something going on with Italy right now, you guys, and um, that we're going to be seeing that the world is going to be experiencing. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, because I know Elon said something about it as well. So you guys, this, um, I've seen this with uh with believers before, you guys. I've seen this manifest and happen, and I want to. I, my true brothers and sisters, um, you know, I want this to be on our radar that we would not do, don't give, don't, don't get angry. Don't get, when you get angry or vengeful or things like that, those negative things and hold them towards people. Um, You're giving place to the enemy and he will actually enter into your temple and he will wreak wreak a lot of damage in your life. And he can he can steal people's crowns by doing stuff like that. So um, and brothers and sisters, if you could be in agreement with me, I pray that um, all all the people who are believers in all four corners of the earth, that they would be convicted when these things happen and that the truth of the word of the Lord would be loosed in them so that we can all take our thoughts captive and bring them into the obedience of Christ. Christ, Following Christ is the only way that we will receive our crown. And we don't want to let the enemy um, steal ours or anybody else's crown too. So remember this brothers and sisters, if you're hold, if, if there's times you know, and you're holding anger, any anything like that in your heart, you're allowing Satan to come into your temple. So don't do that and pray that others would be convicted um, when they do that, too, so that they don't fall victim to that. We don't want the enemy to win. Right. Whether it's us or somebody else. Well, if we all win, we all win together. The body wins together. So let's keep that on our on our radar for prayer. And keep that in our minds and our hearts so that we don't do that. Okay. That's 
sharing these things, brothers and sisters, is how we build one another up and help. And and when we pray about these things, they don't just go the 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 blessing and the miracle of the prayer doesn't just go to the people who are hearing this. It goes to all the people of God in all four corners of the earth because that's who we're praying for, right? This is the age of the Spirit. Um. So I wanted to share that. Okay, <clears throat> another thing, chat. Uh, chat GDP, I'm sure, or GPT, I'm sure you guys have heard of this. It's called chat GPT. And you guys, I want to tell you, I, I'm going to expose the enemy's plan and what's going on here so that, again, so that we can know this, keep it on our radar and fight against it. Okay, this is becoming a very big thing. And what the enemy is doing is evil entities are collecting data, okay, that what they're doing is they're looking at when, when this program, okay, is in operation and people are using it, okay, this program, these evil entities that are operating and manifested in this program, whether it be evil angels or evil demons or whatever, they are using this program to study people, right? To study people's reactions of what they like, wh- um, what their eyes do when they um, when they're happy, what their eyes do when they get angry, when they get sad. Studying their facial expressions, the things that they say. They're studying a lot of these things about human beings, because brothers and sisters, what they want to do is when humanity is going to be most vulnerable and the son of perdition is ruling and reigning for his short period of time they want to be able to have as much information and knowledge about people because they want to manipulate people because the enemy just doesn't only want to kill people he wants to take their souls he wants them to by their free will hand over those and and he believes there's a greater advantage of that if you know people, if you know how they're going to react, what their response is, how they're really truly feeling on the inside, even though they might be saying something else, you know, things like that. Um, so they're using this program to learn more about people and to um, to get information about mankind to manipulate them and to to get them to do evil and and to get them to when they're most vulnerable how to manipulate them when they're most vulnerable for the end end times so they're gathering data and information through this okay so i wanted to i wanted to share that with you okay i've heard some people talking recently about the three days of darkness okay there's something I want to say about this, and I've I've talked about it before, brothers and sisters. When uh, when most people are talking about the three days of darkness, they think that there is going to be a physical, like the whole world is going to be dark, like at at physical nighttime dark when the sun's not here. Okay, and stuff like that will happen brothers and sisters in the very end when you're talking about when when a lot of people are dying when the son of perdition is ruling and reign when god's wrath and stuff like that will happen okay but right now brothers and sisters the darkness that this is talking about is talking about like dark matter spiritual darkness that gets let out of the abyss that goes through the earth and it can be it is daytime sometimes brothers and sisters this dark energy manifests in the daytime it can still be light outside right this is why this is called the age of deception brothers and sisters this is the age of deception things look normal but they're not this darkness that the spirit is that the holy spirit is talking to people about is not literal darkness right not right now this is talking about a spiritual darkness that is coming out that is going to come out for a short period of time and what that darkness has been commanded to do is people who are not sealed 
people who reject Christ, people who are not sealed, this darkness is going to go into their temples and manipulate them and, and influence that, take over their temples, use their temples for wickedness. Like um, you, we've seen the most gruesome things that have happened, brothers and sisters, lately. The most gruesome crimes humanity has seen. Not only the most gruesome, but this is happening on a scale like never seen before. So maybe back in the day when we were younger and growing up, maybe, yeah, one person uh, killed somebody and chopped them up and did something like that. But uh, um, brothers and sisters, imagine if one person, people were doing that one person in every city all over the world, every major city all over the world. That's a lot different. That's that when I say it's happening on a scale like never before, that's what I'm talking about. And when this type of darkness goes upon people who are not sealed, that's those are the things that happen and they happen on a larger scale than ever before. So if you could see all the things that are happening, like angels can, like the Lord can, all the things that are happening in all the earth in one given day, you would understand what, what I'm saying. Okay, you would understand and and no right but that that's what's happening know that that's the type of darkness that it's talking about okay the next thing the next thing i want to talk about brothers and sisters is in the comet of 20 i'm sorry in the solar eclipse the great solar american eclipse in 2024 that is going to be probably the last one of the the last great sign or one of the last great signs for the day of the Lord. We're going to have one more eclipse and um, no, I'm sorry. That's a comment. I don't think it's an eclipse. Yeah. This is pretty much the last great physical sign of the coming of the day of the Lord. That's what this is symbolizing, brothers and sisters. There is going to be the judgment that is going to happen after the 2024 April 8th solar eclipse, brothers and sisters, is going to be like we've never been seen. What we've never seen. This is like one of the last great signs. Okay, but on that same day, brothers and sisters, on the same day that we're going to have this eclipse, there is... Uh, look at this planetary alignment, Mars, Saturn, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus. Look at this alignment. This is extremely significant, brothers and sisters. The day of the Lord is at hand. God is telling us, God himself is telling us what is coming. Now, not only do we have this eclipse and this huge planetary alignment, but we have a comet. Remember, the Lord said the sign will be in the sun the moon and the stars. That's all right here, brothers and sisters. And we also have a comet called 12P Ponds Brooks. Okay. Now 12 in, in, in Strong's Concordance means destruction and boundless. That's what this, that's what this sign means, brothers and sisters. Destruction and boundless. Okay. And if if you guys know if you know what pawns means, this is the name of this comet. Pawns is like a thing that connects the thalamus. It's it's like in the brain stem. It's in it's it's a part in the body that connects the brain stem with like the thalamus and it's it's very significant if you look up look up the meaning of pons p o n s brothers and sisters look up the meaning of that and also um p is also i think the 16th letter of the alphabet i'm not sure um but you can look that up but pons so it's talking about destruction and then the, it's pons means this part of the body that has to do with the brainstem and action. So it's talking about destruction, right? But it's it's not it's not necessarily gonna be um um right away, brothers and sisters, right? It's gonna be right away physical destruction. It may, but it's talking about the destruction of 
of the temple, the destruction of people's temples, that that the part in their temple, right, the part that God created in man and his image and likeness that has life in it is going to be no longer in many, many, many people. People are going to be filled with death. They are going to be already. What is this comet doing, brothers and sisters? I mean, this um this eclipse. The one in 2017 went across this way. This one's coming across this way. It's making an X. X marks the spot. A mark is that means that the mark, the sign of that X means people are now the the sealing of what people's fate, what their judgment is going to be. They're going to be sealed in their judgment. They're either going to be sealed for um for sealed in God's spirit and sealed as God's people, or they're going to be sealed and or they're going to be marked down for the sword. They're going to be marked down for death, meaning that death could come through a cancer, plagues, uh, a, an extreme accident, or it could be it, they could be waiting for when the son of perdition, they could be marked down for when the son of perdition um, rules and reigns at, and towards the end of his Rain where they're going to gather people up and they're, he's going to kill people on a scale that we've never seen, that humanity's never seen before. Okay. But that's what this is talking about the great and terrible day of the Lord. It's going to be great for God's people because they're going to receive deliverance. And I know a lot of people think they're not physically going to be on the earth, but brothers and sisters, the truth, what is really going to happen is going to happen. Okay, and and you're gonna see that a lot of people, they didn't understand. They 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 a lot of people were deceived in what they thought was gonna happen, and how scriptures they thought scripture was gonna manifest. Okay, because you can be somewhere else in the heavens or in another realm, and your physical body be here on earth. Okay, I'm not saying that supernatural things aren't going to happen and people won't be physically and literally trans. I'm I'm not saying that. Okay, I'm saying what is going to happen is going to happen and you're going to see that most people were deceived and they had a they had a bias, right? Because of fear, because of their own thoughts. Right? They had a bias. They they wanted things to look the way that they wanted to. Um, but that's what this means. It's it's 12, which means destruction, boundless destruction, and and the part of the human body where the brain stem is. And then P is called this comment is called 12P. And P, I think, is the 16th letter. You can look at what that is in Strong's. And then the the definition for Brooks as well. Right. But this means it's talking about destruction. People being um, the, the inside of their bodies being destroyed and then written down for the sword to to perish in the way that they're going to perish. Now, not everybody is going to die, brothers and sisters. Not everybody's going to die. There's also going to be people that are that are that the Lord is going to have grace upon that aren't necessarily sealed like. God's true children are going to be sealed that are going to receive a glorified body and rule and reign with Christ on earth for a thousand years, but they're going to have mercy upon them uh, on some people. Right. But most people, when you're talking about the major percentage of the human population, that's not going to be the case. Right. So your prayers, brothers and sisters, work the harvest right now. Your prayers, your offerings that you lift up, if they're done out of purity in your heart, those are very valuable. And you need to be spending your time. These last we have less than a year now, brothers and sisters, before the last greatest sign that the world is going to get. Work the harvest mightily right now, brothers and sisters. Work it mightily. Don't hold on to things of the sort. Don't work um, for things of this world. Yes, we still have to provide for our families and and pay for it. Yes, but spend your light, your time, your everything on loving the Lord God with all your heart, mind, and strength and being led of the Spirit loving others spreading the forgiveness the grace and the love of christ to everywhere where you go and being led to the spirit so that you know what the lord wants you to do 
I love you guys so much. Um, I'll see you on the next video, Lord willing.